Hello and welcome to a haul y'all. This is going to be a Goodwill haul from Williamsburg. I went there quite a while ago. Again, I am trying to catch up on hauls and this is my absolutely full bag of stuff. The first thing I'm gonna show you is actually the shirt I'm wearing right now. It's a little cropped shirt. See how short it is? There's my belly. But I thought this was super cute, so I decided to wear it to show you guys. It is a size small, but it actually, because of the way it's cut, fits me pretty great. So there's this. <laughs> I also found a vintage New With Tags Lacoste hat. These were actually going for quite a bit of money. I saw this in blue and it sold for like 50 bucks. So that's roughly where I listed it at. It's just like a dad hat, but I'm guessing because it's new, it's why it's selling for so much. It is hundred percent cotton. So there is that. And then I'm going to show you a bunch of dresses. So this is a uh, casual corner, which I've talked about, and I am now going to state, for those of you that commented on the last time I talked about casual corner, yes, casual corner has been around for decades. It wasn't just from 1995 to 2005, but that last decade that they were in business is what I look for when I'm reselling. I've actually never found a piece older than that. I've only found the 90s and the Y2K stuff here in my area. So. That's why I put that on there. Yes, it is older. So I'm sorry for the confusion. I just wasn't, um, I needed to be more clear with my explanation. So this is Casual Corner. It's from the 90s. It is a linen rayon red dress. You know, just a basic sheath dress. Not a big deal. It's got a little bit of detail here around the collar and also, well not collar, well around the V-neck and the sleeves not the season for it but again I bought this when it would have been going into season so oh well it'll sell eventually so there's that another dress I bought this because I couldn't not buy this one it's green it is the perfect 90s jumper here it is like giving me elementary school teacher homeschool mom that kind of vibe uh, but it's got chickens on it <laughs> And I don't know if maybe it's just because of the TikTok I'm consuming, but I can totally see some lady who has strong cottage fork vibes and loves doing chicken math buying this for me and wearing it while gathering eggs. I don't know. I just really liked it. It's a size medium. It's 100% cotton. It does have one little tiny, tiny spot right here. But other than that, it's perfect. I thought it was just too cute. Look at a little chicken down there at the bottom. I just thought it was too cute to like end up in a landfill, so I picked it up. Also, it's green, and y'all know how I feel about green, so there's that. This I was super surprised by. So I know Soft Surroundings has declared bankruptcy, and they're now being bought out by Coldwater Creek, so I hope that that means their older stuff will go for more money and not less money, but I did pick this up a while ago before that happened. This is their lounge dress their blue lounger. It has a big hood. I don't know how to describe this material, but it feels great. <laughs> and it is a long maxi length house dress with a kangaroo pocket. It is a women's size large. It does have the really nice hood that like actually covers your whole head. It looked really cool on Karen and I saw these going for like 50 bucks. So that's what I listed it for. We'll see if it'll still go for 50 bucks considering they just like, you know, recently announced their bankruptcy, but who knows? A girl can hope. I also found mod cloth. I pick up most everything I find for mod cloth, especially if I can get it for pretty cheap. This is a purple dress and y'all know purple people love purple. And this I believe is a medium. Nope, it's a large. So this is a large jersey dress. It's about knee length. It has like the fancy detail there on the back, but I thought this looked comfortable and cozy. And again, purple people love purple. So I picked that up. I also found this absolutely stunning Eliza J dress that also happened to be new with tags, which I do find Eliza J quite frequently. They do have a tendency to market up in my area, but they didn't for this one, even though it was new with tags. So that was surprising to me but this originally retailed for $168. I know that because it's on the tag. It came from Nordstrom. 
absolutely gorgeous dress. I will put that over here so you guys can see it. And I know, again, this is more of like a spring vibes dress, but it was so beautiful there. I, and again, when I originally picked this up, we were going into spring summer. So again, a little behind, <laughs> but I picked this up and if it doesn't sell now, it'll sell hopefully when it warms up again. I'm so sad that summer's over. <laughs> But here we go, we have another red linen blend 90s dress. This is JG Hook. Uh, JG Hook is another vintage fryer look out for. This is like a plain basic, but I've talked about before that if I am buying vintage, I either need it to be indicative of the period. If you think of the 70s, you're gonna think of the big spear point collar. You know, if you're thinking of 60s, you're gonna think of like the big floral hippie prints and like the mod dresses. If you're thinking of the 90s, like the button front dresses or the button front skirts or like the big grungy stuff, like that kind of vibe, or it needs to fit into a regular modern wardrobe very easily. And these basics will do that, so. I gave you a long explanation just to say, look, I found another 90s sheath dress. <laughs> so that's listed. Again, that's a uh, linen blend as well. So we're not into linen season. We're going out of linen season, but oh well. Another new with tags dress. This is the last dress. This is vintage from the 90s. It's just a little black dress with lots of sparkles. This is uh, hand beaded. I did have to uh, redo some of the beads. It is new with tags, but again, it's from the 90s, so it's a 30-year-old dress, uh, and it's been flopped around. So I did, I do have bugle beads. That's what these beads are. They're called bugle beads, and I have some from fixing other items that have the same style of bugle bead. So I just added them back, and it, now it's a new with tag dress. It's Virgo, which I find very funny. Uh, it also came with beads, which I didn't notice. But I, again, I already had some, so it didn't matter. <laughs> so there is this, and hopefully this will end up uh, going on someone's body instead of languishing in someone's closet for another 30 years. Going to the pants now. I only have a couple, because you know how much I love listing pants. I found Trip NYC for the first time. I was very excited until I realized it was a size three, and then I realized it was damaged. <laughs> And by damaged, I mean, you're like, eh, it's got all these rips and tears in them. Well, that's actually not the damage, that's factory. The damage is, is that behind all these rips and tears used to be a fishnet panel. There was a line of thread up here and a line of thread down here. And there was a fishnet panel like in the pant, which is a choice. I feel like if someone wanted that look, they would just wear fishnets on under the jeans. I do remember doing that before, so. I was kind of a emo punky kid in the aughts, but this is Trip NYC. It is a size three. I had to say like in my description that the fishnet part was cut out and I listed it at a lower price accordingly. So we will see what happens, but I'm super excited to click this brand off of my list because this is actually a pretty expensive niche goth emo brand. And I've been hoping to find it for a while. Of course, I've been hoping to find it in my size, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Spanx. I rarely find Spanx in my area, but you best believe I snap it up with the quickness when I do um, because it sells very quick for me. Uh, this is a size small, so probably not going to sell as fast, but it is the Assets Red Hot Lips line. Red Hot Label, not Red Hot Lips. Red Hot Label line. It is the like high-waisted to suck you in. Um, it does have like three panels and the top panel and the bottom panel is shiny, and then where the knees are is not, which I thought was kind of a neat little uh, accent. So I finally listed these. Hopefully those will go quickly. And then the reason I picked these up was one because I thought they were pretty. Uh, they are also a size large, I believe. Am I correct in that assumption? Yes, they're size large. They have this really cool back lace detail, and they're Fabletics. Uh, the reason I picked them up is because they're brand new with tags, and they're actually still being sold on the Fabletics website. So I think this is one of their like uh, basics that they keep year round, but the original tag on this is $69.95 or it was $74.95 on the website. It's $69.95 in the tag. So I'm guessing this was uh, sat in someone's closet for a while. So I listed this. It's new with tags. The only reason I picked it up, I listed it pretty high because it is new with tags and because you can get it for cheaper new 
from me than you could on the website. So there is that. So the next item is this untuck it shirt. This is actually women's. It's a size small. The reason it's on a hanger is because I'm waiting for it to dry so I could list it. It'll be listed by the time this video goes out, but I had to stain treat it. I did finally get all the stains out of it, so now I can list it. But untuck it doesn't get what it used to, but I do still pick it up whenever I find it, especially if I'm only getting it for like four bucks, right? Right, so pick this up. All right, now we have some vintage. So I was super excited to find this. So this is like a 90s Y2K Mac. Like if you worked at the Mac store, this was your uniform in the 90s in the Y2K. So to find like a promotional piece like this and or if they were doing like Mac trade shows, like uh, their, their makeup trade shows as well. So they would wear the promotional models of the promotional makeup artists would wear this. So to find something like this, I thought was super cute. So I bought that. Hopefully someone will buy that for me. It's got like this big old like puff paint Mac on the front. Love it. This I actually have to ship out. <laughs> um, it sold already. This is a vintage CP shades piece. This is rayon velvet. And I actually did the back because it had um, some bleach spots on the back. And so what I decided to do is I decided to bleach tie dye it and I, what I ended up doing was I ended up like using blue masking tape to uh, tape off the front so it didn't get any bleach on it and then just did the back and this actually already sold for my full asking price of $44.87 so I have to go and ship this out now. Uh, I also picked up uh, several ties when I was at the Goodwill. I predominantly picked up a bunch of Brooks Brothers Makers ties uh, that are made in the USA of Italian silk. One of them already sold as soon as I listed it for $14.87, I'm guessing because it was gold. And like the power colors, like, like a striking red tie, a striking blue tie, or like striking gold tie, like these power colors, those normally sell faster. Um, and I do regularly pick up specifically this style of Brooks Brothers tie. That's the only Brooks Brothers tie I really pick up unless it's new with tags. I also picked up a couple of other ties. I will just quickly flash the listings over here. Um, one of them was a new with tags uh, tie that actually retails for over $100. And it's an Italian made tie, Italian designer. Uh, I picked up another Italian made tie. Again, it's gonna be over here because I don't, I don't remember how to pronounce them. Uh, and then I also picked up a Donald Trump tie because despite what's going on his ties sell especially if you can get like the red ones like the red power ties like I just talked about those ones sell the fastest and for the most money so I picked that up I will ship this out and then let me show with you the rest of it this is cool I also pick up anything cool when I find it I know this is just a lightweight top this is a size small it's got this little lace shoulder up here at the top I just thought it was cute, so hopefully someone else will as well and will buy that from me. I also found this Escada piece, which I was absolutely shocked by. This is, um, Escada is a designer brand that has a high retail price. Some pieces sell for a lot of money, some pieces do not. Uh, I have sold like one of their vintage pieces for roughly 50 bucks. That's roughly what this kind of style was going for. Uh, this is like one of the slinky styles. It, it feels kind of like the uh, Chico's Travelers pieces. So I picked this up and we will see what happens. I listed it roughly around like $45, $50. Hopefully it'll go for roughly that. I also picked up a hard good. I know you guys haven't seen hard goods on my channel in a while and that's mostly because uh, I, they're like one of the last things I list unless I'm getting really excited about it. This is from Linux. I rarely pick up Linux mostly because it gets marked up a lot in my area. This is like four, I think it was $4 when I bought it at the Goodwill. This is a nut dish. The actual pattern name is Olympia Gold uh, because of the style and also the gold trim. There's also Olympia Platinum. So if you find this dish, but it has like a silver accent instead of a gold tone, that's actually platinum, it's not silver. Um, this is rare, like normally when you see these kind of pieces, it's like cream colored, like the inside, but the inside and the outside are the same color with the gold trim or the platinum trim, but this is actually green. 
This is from the mid-century era, so I listed this and I hopefully will sell it. I just, you know, couldn't leave anything green behind. These 90 knit tops I've talked about multiple times. This is just actually a 90s t-shirt, but it's like a, a ribbed knit. I don't know how to describe it. It's green, it's large. I couldn't leave it behind because these sell really well for me. The 90s are still in, although Y2K is a little bit, sorry. Although Y2K is a little bit more in, but I'm, st again, I'm still selling the 90s stuff. Another new with tag item, this is actually from TJ Maxx. This is a men's Tommy Bahama reversible quarter zip. So it's got the TJ Maxx tag, but it's an extra large. Uh, you can see the where the original tag used to be, but it's got the light gray on this side and then the dark gray on the outside. But again, these were selling for roughly $45. So I wasn't going to leave this behind. I'm not gonna leave new with tags Tommy Bahama behind, especially if I'm paying like $5 for it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that up. Another knit, this is actually a plus size. This is Kobe, another 90s knit. I'm so, super excited for me to find a plus size offering and probably one of my favorite vintage pieces to, that I regularly pick up. Brand is Kobe, RIP Kobe. Uh, but it's a 2X, uh, again, it's a 2X, not an XXL. If you know, you know. So this is just a basic navy knit. So I'm really happy that I picked this up. Another new with tags piece. This is Lulu's. Uh, the only reason I picked this up, even though it's an extra small, is because it is new with tags and it's cute. This could be like giving me very Barbie vibes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to her original bathing suit outfit. I know it's just black and white stripes, but I think it's cute. Again, I only picked it up because it's new with tags. And then the last item I had to share with you is another 90s knit, but this is a thick knit. This is actually a sweater. These really beautiful Southwest colors um, in this interesting pattern. It also has uh, yarn embroidery around all of the sleeves, the collar, and the bottom. And I thought that that was really pretty. This is Russ Studio. I've talked about Russ being one of the brands. There's Russ Studios, there are R, R, R Russ, there's Russ Togs. There's a bunch of different, and then there's just Russ. Um, there's a bunch of different divisions of Russ, but whenever I do see it, I do try to pick it up. I just thought this was beautiful. It's a size medium, but it's a, like a vintage size medium, so it's a little oversized. So I'm really happy with what I picked up. I'm excited that, you know, some pieces have already sold, so I'm gonna go ship this out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye. Bye. Hero, hero. He died as Toby on nap. I'm sorry.